Final piece of sound. One thing that's great that uh, people are doing is that they are staying and uh, f- putting the heat on Republicans because Republicans want to take your health insurance away. Al Grayson was right. The Republicans' plan is don't get sick, and if you get sick, die quickly. I mean, not very elegant, but no one's ever had an answer to that. And if there is one Republican who I can assure you will never have an answer to anything, it's poor old anxiety-ridden Marco Rubio, who has zero self-dignity, who, after he was completely humiliated and emasculated by Donald Trump, he kind of went away for a couple days. He was like, I'm not sure I can do it. And then he came out and he was like, oh, yeah, I can do it. I'll endorse him. I mean, I, I don't know if it's safe that he has nukes, but I'll endorse him. Uh, he was going to leave the Senate and he decided to go back, uh, even though he's clearly bored there and incapable intellectually of doing the job. Uh, and now he has a new problem, which is that constituents are being very mean to him. And when people are mean, his, get, his mouth gets even more dry and he needs even more water. And wham, wham, Marco Rubio. And he was at Florida Uni- International University uh, basically saying, Uh, explaining why he cannot subject his delicate self to town halls because people get apparently really angry when you try to uh, sentence them to death. Here he is. Hi, Senator. Hey, man, what's up? Hold on, my name is Alessia. You know, just wanted to give you the check. Oh, I just saw this guy at Jackson. That's right. They want to give you the check. Do me a favor. Be respectful. No, I I am. That's that's it. Are you going to do a town hall for us to hear your people? Not because town halls, people get rude and stupid on both sides. But you hear the people. I've heard the people. And listen, I ran for office. Let them tape it. I ran for office. I told everybody I was against Obamacare. I told everybody that I was in favor of the things I was in favor of. I'm going to do what I told people I was going to do. How unfair would it be to the people that voted for me to now change my opinion and vote like the guy I Senator. You, not, said, you said you were, you were in Europe. You opinion. said you were in Europe, it's, Senator. It's, it's about, it's about what happened? Florida. Oh, but I'm here every day. Look, time. let me tell you something. Senator, you guys, all the people that are affected by, by all the insurance laws that we have. You I know? agree. We have like 96,600 just in Day County mm-hmm. alone, even more. I you know, agree. millions over Florida. I mean, but, you should be representing your people. But I do. But the yeah. problem is that what we have now isn't working for them either because yeah. yeah. their premiems are too high. No, they are not because my family, my family is directly affected. The premiums are not too high. They should know, but they are not because I mean, I'm, yeah, but I have people I, I'm paying less. That. I'm actually paying less because well, I changed. Are, and I changed good. the insurance plan. I mean, right. we have many plans. We but how would you know, Senator? We wanted to have a town hall no, with you, and no. you said you were in Europe. Yeah, but because he basically said, "I doesn't do town halls because people are rude and stupid on both sides." And then um, he goes the premium uh, line, and of course, this guy's literally saying, uh, "Not true. My family's premiums are fine. Granted, they're both being anecdotal." Uh, the way he got Rubio's attention is they're presenting him with a fake check, basically being like, I, I think, you know, essentially saying, like, look, if you'll meet with your donors, uh, do we need to give you a check in order to meet with your constituents? Um, no one knew what was in Obamacare. And now that they're actually going to take away people's health care, uh, I think people are quite concerned about it. And it is pretty interesting to call people rude and stupid because when he goes, and I just actually will play this because it's only 19 seconds. When Marco Rubio, or excuse me, 38 seconds, when Marco Rubio, if he actually had the basic courage, decency, guts, and job responsibility to not lie and say he's in Europe, face his constituents whose lives he's going to upend, I don't necessarily, he might hear some jokes. If I saw Marco Rubio anywhere, let alone a town hall, I would definitely make a joke about his dry mouth. Uh, But I think he'll also actually meet a lot of people like this. And I wouldn't call this rude or stupid. This is Senator Chuck Grassley at a town hall in Iowa. And I don't think this constituent is being rude or stupid. I haven't seen you for a long time. How are you doing? Oh, I've been busy. (laughs) I'm on Obamacare. If it wasn't for Obamacare, we wouldn't be able to afford insurance. With all due respect, sir, you're the man that talked about the death panel. Yep. <laughs> We're going to create one great big death panel in this country that people can't afford to get insurance. Don't repeal Obamacare. Improve it. For Seemed very smart and polite to me. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right uh 
right over here. Uh, so over, subscri subscribe.